Hi there, we're back to Geront, and I got into a game in one second. How great is that? Well, this is actually a decent start. It could be a lot better, though. I'm fighting against Syria. Mm, I really don't need the fireball, then. So I'm going to go ahead and mulligan so that I can get some more early game stuff. And this is a great. Okay, so next turn, we really... You know what? I'm not going to be too worried about drawing cards at the moment. I have some good plays early on, so I think I'm fine. I was thinking maybe I could just draw this turn because I only need two might next turn, but I don't want to risk it because I'm going to need this Lilim back up as soon as possible. So we're going to throw this out there, and what are we going to... Um, well, we're going to need that, but not immediately, so we're going to need the might instead. Yeah. Right, so, what kind of responses can I, yeah, pow, I was going to say, what kind of responses can I assume would happen at this point? Well, pow is pretty much the best removal for that kind of early game stuff that this hero has, so that's to be expected. I'm definitely going to throw out another one. I could use my fire bolts right now, but I'm going to save it instead because I need the extra damage later on. And... I'm actually going to get the magic up this turn, so that next turn I could use my resources or my magic to do some fancy stuff with the town portal if I need to. And another pow comes out. Well, that's that removal gone. Don't have to worry about that anymore, so I'm pretty happy about that. And now, if I want, I could throw, it out, throw out a tank, but I'm not really using a deck that relies on late game stuff. So, well, I say that. But my late game is pretty strong, given the combinations that would otherwise require more resources. There we go. I got the town portal, but it's not really useful anymore since he powered me again. Well, at this point, the only thing I really need is... I might as well get out another Lilim. Hmm. I don't really have many choices. I might need to draw instead, but... I can start drawing next turn. This turn, I just need to play another creature. I could start t killing that off, or just get out some more damage on an empty lane. Hmm. I feel like I don't really need to worry so much about that, but at the same time my life is actually dropping rather significantly, so I'm going to play this instead. It's actually pretty necessary. At 16 life, that's actually pretty dangerous. Next turn I would be at 14 life. That's getting near the halfway point. And now I can firebolt that, so that's great. Surprised he didn't back that up. I mean, I am a fire user, so maybe he's uh, not too interested in bunching up, which I could use against him if that is the case. Now, I'm definitely killing that off. Question is, do I want to also use a pow and a firebolt or... Yeah, a pow and a firebolt to kill that off as well. It wouldn't really be so much in my best interest at the moment. It would be more in my best in best interest to draw. Because I need more creatures. And I got some. Excellent. And I can place it here. And hope that they don't have an additional pow. That would be pretty great. At this point, one more magic all that's needed for a good old water spout. And so I'm going to just get rid of that little blinking annoyance down there. Don't want to be paying attention to that right now. So good thing is, good news is, if he doesn't have removal, next turn, he's going to block, and I'm just going to use my town portal. So, pretty great. But he does have water spout. As expected. How unfortunate. Might still end up blocking. Syria relies more on late game stuff than I do. But no. Got that early health lead. Trying to maintain it, I suppose. I'm going to need more creatures. Definitely. Oh, this works. Even still, more creatures is necessary. Only one is not going to do the job, especially one that can't really do much damage. And another town portal. That's actually pretty great, but not so great right now when I need creatures. Good news is I can at least get damage off, even though I only have the one creature on the board, because this is going to be nice. Uh, I can't really do anything with fortunes. I guess that's about it. Not very efficient use of resources there, but not much I could do about it. Mm, in 
effect coming out. Pretty cheap, not really worth using a town portal on, given the cost, but at the same time, mm, I need to damage lead. I'm pretty behind it. Well, I say that, but now we're tied. Still, the amount of damage on the field, clear advantage in their favor. Well, three, four, five. I could use five resources to kill this off to l reduce the amount of damage I'm going to take. I could also use two town portals to just remove these things. In the end, that would mean this dies, and he's left with one creature with infect on the board. I have card advantage, but the fact that I have no creatures in my hand makes it rather difficult, to say the least. If I draw, I won't be able to play this town portal. Uh, things are getting dangerous. Three, four, five, six, seven. I'd be able to play the POW, use town or use a firebolt, and at the same time also town portal something. Hmm. You know, I think I'm going to end up using the firebolt on this. Just to kill that off instead. And I am actually thinking about clearing his board with town portals. As stupid as that sounds. Alternatively, the POW, plus that. But that's a lot of damage potential I'm giving up. I really don't like using town portals for this purpose. But I feel like it's justified giving the damage. Normally, at 14 health, I would say that was a bad idea because 14 health gives me plenty of time. But at the moment... 14 health isn't so great, given the fact that I have no creatures to defend myself. Given, like, three turns of that shallow damage, I would have been dead. Uh, I could finish this off with a POW. I might have to. And that'll leave me with enough resources to defend against this, which has, in fact, two. Not so great. I could ignore it. Might have to ignore it. Three, let's see, four, five, six, seven. That leaves me with one resource. So I'm going to use that one resource to draw, and I get a collar, which is pretty good. It lets me actually get in some damage. So I'm definitely going to want to play that, and I definitely want to pow to get rid of this. Can't let him have a creature that can kill that off so easily. And with this coming out, and I'm going to place it away from a water spout attack. With that coming out, it means I can actually start doing damage. Even if I don't have creatures that can really do damage on their own, this is going to start whittling him down enough that maybe... Oh, Shadow Image. Ouch. The fact that Shadow Image, unlike games like Hearthstone that clones their stats, Shadow Image gives a brand new clone. And I used my Firebolt, so I won't be able to clear that out with a rather easy single strike. This tank won't last very long. Probably get a buff of some description. This would work a bit better. I'm going to have to start using these tanks, so... Might have to draw. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, yep. Yeah, going to draw first. Not so great. Okay, so this comes out. And if I play this down here, it's going to die from the poison. But I don't have much choice in the matter. The question is, do I want to play another creature, or do I want to use this? If I use this, I can start dealing more damage, but right now I need a better board presence. And... I think I'm going to place it down here. Because if I place it up here, that means they're going to use a water spout, hit this, kill that off, and then I would have a damaged succubus. Oh man. Okay, well, Curse of the Netherworld. Deal three damage to all enemy creatures and heal three from all friendly creatures. Extremely potent. Ridiculously so. At this point, pretty dangerous. This has life drain two and enough damage with any kind of buff. Well, this has water, so that's it could easily gain three extra damage anyway. 
that's not actually a problem. Um, for them, anyway. Hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I can't ignore this amount of damage on the field. I just can't. I'm gonna have to draw. Hmm. Uh, I need to start getting a bit risky. Letting my creatures just die is not going to help, though. Hmm. This is a danger that I feel is going to cost me the game. But I'm going to start building up forces right here. And just start tanking a bit down here. And then we can get this out. And say fortune. Really should use one use this, but unfortunately, hindsight is 2020. Okay. Could really use another town portal. Oh, that finally comes out again. Didn't work so well. I can't deal with the amount of removal. I simply did not have enough creatures to deal with the removal. They were simply out damaging me. And that's tends to be a way of things. If you have too many if you have too few creatures and they have plenty of removal. You just can't do anything about it. I can draw to see what I get, but it probably won't help so much. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't that did do much. Hmm. Cause my goal right now is just to do as much damage as possible, so there we go. Might as well just spite him by killing that off. And that's it. That's the end. I got some extra damage off, but ultimately it just was not enough. It probably would have been enough if I had instead saved my town portals and just used them for damaging and ignored my health a bit longer because that removal was really taking me out. But again, you know, can't really think that far ahead. You don't know what the draw is going to be for your opponents, so what was there to do? Oh well, see you next time.